Rosanna Pansino. Some would say that she is Mr. Beast's top op, right? She hates him. She's willing to do whatever it takes to let people know the information needed to be able to discredit his reputation because truthfully, Mr. Beast has done a lot of really bad shit before in the past and has covered a lot of really bad shit in the past. She has had messages from former employees and former contestants of the Mr. Beast games. She has released a lot of information in regards to behind the scenes stuff regarding Mr. Beast along with Dogpack 404, of course, and she's been been working a lot alongside him and some videos and just a couple of hours ago because i'm recording this late at night rosanna pantino uploaded a video where she releases and shows a bunch of leaked text messages from a group chat between ava tyson mr beast himself and a couple of other employees and this was in a work group chat that people were actively using to relay a bunch of work related information and it's just more of the continuous depravity and degeneracy that Ava Tyson has already been shown before, has already shown before in the past with previous tweets and previous Discord messages that also got leaked out a few months ago. A lot of really bad shit was going on in this group chat, and it's just so strange because, like, this was a bunch of adults talking about work related stuff, and Ava Tyson still decided to go ahead and post a lot of really inappropriate things. And that's what we're going to get into right here in Rosanna Pantino's brand new video of a lot of really disgusting shit, which we're going to go ahead and start off with like one of the biggest things, with, which is what they start at the beginning of the video. And it's that Mr. Beast doesn't actually call himself in these group chat messages uh, by his name, Jimmy Donaldson or Mr. Beast. He actually calls himself by John Smith. And there's a bunch of evidence that supports the fact that this is actually Mr. Beast. There's enough that shows that it is supposed to be Mr. Beast. He's just calling himself something different for some reason. I'm not sure why. It's just that just is what, he, what he's doing. And then we continue on with a bunch of disgusting Ava Tyson posts, such as posting an image of what is presumably Ivanka Trump when she was 13 years old, and a very sexually suggestive image of her when she was a minor. And of course, legally speaking, this falls under the use of CP. And if you know what CP is, then you know what you know. And this is basically just like the distribution of it. This is very much suggesting that this is just supposed to be someone who's underage, even if it's not actually Ivanka Trump. Uh, and Dogpack has actually done a reverse image search. So there are other people who are also suggesting that this is probably also uh, Ivanka Trump when she was 13 years old, even if it, if it was, wasn't Ivanka Trump, even if this person wasn't 13 years old. Presumably Ava Tyson at the time when she posted this didn't actually know that the person may or may not have been 18 years old or not so the fact that they were willing to go ahead and post this into their group chat is very inappropriate very just disgusting it's degenerate behavior it's awful it's it's gross right it's straight up just absolutely fucking gross you have some other more messages like john smith once again which is mr beast uh, he says that uh, Higa Hero is a show that uh, Chris at the time, so Ava Tyson, would probably like. And basically, what Higa Hero is, is basically just a slice of life uh, like romance anime, I'm presuming. And basically, the story is about a older man who is either a tutor or a teacher. I'm not actually sure what it's about. But it's an older man who gets into a relationship with a runaway girl who is in high school. And is a minor because she's 17 years old and you know it's a japanese anime manga series and this is actually an anime manga series that is actually very controversial in places like japan people in japan don't even like this story whatsoever because obviously the subject matter of the story is very inappropriate and very disgusting because it's a, an, an anime about a series of a grown man getting into a romantic relationship and maybe even a sexual relationship with that who is a minor there's a couple other messages that show like even more depravity and the the, the underage lolly hentai stuff and uh there's also like a, a post where he posts a meme and basically the meme is like a girl who's cosplaying as violet from the incredibles like normal clothes the hero uniform and then one where she's invisible and then the one where she's invisible is wearing nipple piercings and and, and anal butt plug and it's in like the character of violet from the incredibles is 14 years old so obviously it's just more more lolly fetish degeneracy that ava tyson is posting in this group chat that mr beast is in and that's the main thing that's like the problem with this is the fact that there are all these messages and there's a whole lot of them some of them that you're probably seeing on screen of Ava Tyson showing their degeneracy, uh, like Garfield, Vore, uh, Rule 34 is like mentioned in there somewhere. Uh, there's a lot of just really weird, disgusting shit that's being mentioned in these chats. Really lewd and inappropriate behavior that's happening with other adults, like mentioning like lolly stuff. And then eventually there was also uh, the Discord, which, all, which had actual minors as moderators in it. And just 
It's just disgusting. And it further shows and proves that there's no possible way that Mr. Beast didn't know about any of this behavior until it was exposed a few months ago and he had to release Ava Tyson off of the team because he was actively involved in these group chats and knew that these were being posted and was interacting with these posts from his best friend at the time. So there's no way that he didn't know about any of this because the evidence shows that he was actively involved within the group chats and he knew what was going on. So yeah, just kind of crazy you know just the fact that this is all coming out and etc cetera, etc cetera. there was also another video posted by dog peck on his youtube channel and i i remember watching a little bit of the video that uh, pegasus uploaded on his more pegasus channel and basically it was just talking about continuing more with the faking the the giveaway stuff or not giveaway stuff but uh the charity stuff like editing pictures and videos to make it seem like they actually did more than they did using like cgi and like ai to like make things look nicer than they actually were and then, of course, uh, marketing manipulation further on in the video where basically Rosanna Pansino talks about how Jimmy Donaldson, Mr. Beast, was actively involved in crypto scams, NFT scams, and the fact that he also makes a lot of money and that he's actually lying about how much money that he's losing by giving a lot of his money to charity, but he's actually not. And then, of course, the market manipulation of knowing what's going to happen within the market, investing into it, and then when it explodes uh, in the marketplace, then they sell like all the tokens that they have and then they make a bunch of money. And yeah, that's obviously illegal. I would think that that's illegal because you're not supposed to be manipulating the market like that. It's just been kind of crazy that this information is, is still coming out. There's still more messages being shown about Mr. Beast and the group chats that he's been in over the years. All of this inappropriate behavior that all stems from the fact that had, had he just said something to his best friend about these messages and that his behavior is really weird... None of this probably would have happened. So, yeah, it's kind of crazy. I just want to go ahead and make a video talking about the new video by Rosanna Pansino because I think there was just a lot of messages being shown, a lot of really inappropriate messages being shown that just are extremely fucking weird. Like, the, again, the, the Garfield Vore porn shit. That's really weird. The uh, Ivanka Trump po uh, like image and like that just... Obviously, that's really fucking weird. Anyways, that's besides the point. Uh, that That's pretty much all I really have to say about the situation as a whole because there's not really much else to talk about other than just going to check out the video for yourself because, you know, obviously you're going to get more context as to what's going on. I just want to go ahead and give my quick thoughts on it because the more that we see about Mr. Beast and information about whether or not he knew something or not, it's mind-boggling. Right? It's mind-boggling that he can go ahead and try to pretend as if he didn't know anything. When in reality, he knew more than what he was letting on. And that's wrong. And the fact that he still hasn't talked about any of it is still really weird. And I think I saw a post recently that said he's going to do a podcast or something with Cristiano Ronaldo. So, obviously, he's still doing, like, some, like, big stuff in the future. But just the fact that he's not talking about these allegations is insane to me. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh, depending on the thumbnail that you saw today, you either saw uh, my own or you saw... One that was made by a friend of mine, Pedro360, who's also a member of the channel, so shout out to him. But he decided to go ahead and make a video for the channel, or for the video specifically, and I thought it was funny. So, if you saw it, then obviously, uh, shout out to him for making the thumbnail, because it, it made me actually chuckle a little bit. And he offered to do so, so go check out his channel, he makes great videos, I really appreciate that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like, and if you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Let the